Hey there fire signs, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. I'm going to jump straight in with some Oracle cards. Um, if it doesn't resonate, it just doesn't resonate. I don't target a lot of people, so it won't always resonate. So check out another element, or it just don't resonate today. So let's jump in. Okay, let's see what's happening. Um, I think I just had this with <coughs> air sign. Yeah. So that could be connected. Yeah. They're all kind of relevant, so this must be for the new people. Oh, it might not be because of as with a twin flame, you you know you um for those that are, well you should know <laughs> already, you, you split up a lot. <laughs> Let's just say eight of cups. Eight of cups is all the cups. How many times they've emotionally hurt you? You know that kind of thing. So this is a a, a kind of breakup, maybe an argument and off or something like that and this with the first card of release your ex is because look this woman is so fed up of this twin flame journey but it says release your ex so it's like you've gone on to your ex as a kind of crutch as a backup as a kind of well you know i'm so fed up with this twin flame shall i just go back with a soulmate your twin flame <laughs> this is someone who just needs to have the understanding of their teaching you and know the, the please check out my playlist i don't want to go over the whole dinner i can't it's an impossibility so please check out my playlist and understand why because if it will stop you getting so frustrated you are third dimensional this has got to be someone who's new or if you're not new and you're still on this kind of third dimension still trying to look let go of control issues you need to book me because you're totally not understanding the dynamics i'm going to explain this this is your twin flame meaning you go through the fool's journey right tarot is created from 5d 5d is what you are from because that's where twin flames are created so you need to understand the fool's journey i'll repeat the fool's journey the fool's card is jumping into the unknown. The unknown doesn't mean you control shit. So if you're here trying to control it, you need to book a reading with me if you've been watching me and it's still going round. Because what you're doing is keep going round that fool's journey. And this was what you're going to be eventually doing. Leaving shitty comments, not on my channel though, because you'll get a shitty reply on someone else's channel and then say well i heard that last month it's just going round you're saying the same thing no you're just going round the journey because you're not learning how to do this correctly so until you understand and even going in my playlist doesn't mean you get with your person it just means that i know how to get you with your person because you will understand the journey is different then you should book me because i can help you so this is what you need to know so far the time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. It doesn't mean you have to get rid of them for good. It means you need to commit to this. That's what this means. If you've got someone floating in the background. But this also could mean if you're actually living with someone, you're dating someone and you know there's a twin flame. I said this as well, I think it was the earth sign, but it could be, like I said, you're all zodiac signs, so you should be listening to all of them really, and whatever resonates with you, then you should uh, take that in, because that's reminding you, but anyway, if you're living with someone, dating someone, married to someone, and you've got a twin flame, 
you need to be committing to this journey because you're twin flame for a reason you're twin flame for a reason and let that person go if not you are once again controlling them why because they don't know that you love someone more than them and let's not go around the houses you won't love anyone more than your twin flame you tell your person who you're dating living with married to or connected with that yeah i love you but you love someone else more i watch they won't like that so you are hiding how you feel about them just because they treat you better as your perception of your twin flame is who is he is your teacher so you release them as well if not you're being the devil And that sounds hard. What is the devil card? Control. So you can pretend that you're not controlling them. You are. Because you're not being honest with yourself. So you're not being honest with your person. So that's what someone else needs to hear. Which is um, got this. I haven't even gone on to this. <sighs> Give your relationship a chance. Last week when I looked at this. It looks like she's stressed. It's kind of in and out to me. That face. One minute it looks stressed to me and then it looks loving. So she's in and out. But I don't want you to look at her face. I want you to look at his face. He looks totally 100% into you. There's no confusion with how he looks. It's to me how she looks. Is she embracing it or she's stressed? I don't know. <laughs> but this is a twin flame. I can 100% right guaranteed if you're married with someone and dating someone blah 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 you do not do that with that person if that's not your soulmate um twin flame that's that don't happen with soulmates that's how you can tell the difference oh i'm confused i don't know what the confusion lays when people say they're confused with the twin flame or not if they're a soulmate you don't feel like that that's for sure so you release anyone who does not make you feel like that that's it there's no confusion so this is if you've walked away because i can't handle the twin flame even though look the, the the wings are there right meaning your twin flame but i can't handle it so you split up but they they always get you back together because he's coming back because he's never left look he's there he's just in the background <laughs> you're just not listening once again look at that position there do you do that with soulmates? No. Twin flame. Twin flame. That's why I say all the films are based around this. Twin flames. All the Hollywood romantic movies, they're like that. They're like that. It's not soulmates. Soulmates you don't do that with. Okay. Let me see why you're feeling like this. What's going on with you? <clears throat> If it doesn't resonate like i said then it's not for you just this one today go click off and come off my channel when you might hear something tomorrow that's totally reson resonating for you that's your that's up to you but <laughs> that's what people do their mindset's mad okay let's focus in Control, Emperor. <clears throat> oh, that's really nice. Two, three, one. Okay. right this is to do with sex as well this you think your person comes around and just has sex so you got rid of them because of i'm not that sex thing now there's a time to do that right but it depends 
it's not like when I say, you know, just deal with it. You have to deal with it the correct twin flame way. That's what I need to state with this reading because you don't just allow them to come around for sex without saying anything. But at the same time, you don't get rid of them thinking that it's just sex neither. So if you're worried about the sex, and I'll tell you why I'll say that in a minute, please go into my playlist and check out, um, it's called Cheating Third Party Something. You understand why the sex is important. And not only is the sex important, you are a twin flame, which the twin flame, flame is the passion. The passion is the sex, the passion is the action, meaning the sex is important. So you need to understand that by going and listening to that video if you're worried about, oh, that's why I've got rid of him because he's just coming around for sex. And like I said, it's not, you need to learn how to set your boundaries. You need to know how to do the journey correctly, how to communicate correctly. It's far more than what's going on. If you're new, if you're new I understand that, you know, I'm now telling you how to do it and it, please check out my playlist. If you've been on this journey and it's going round and round and round, you need to book a reading. You need to get to the realisation that it's not going forward. Just watching tarot will not get you with your person. By me booking a tarot reading and me giving you a tarot reading will not get you with your person. I give you the steps, the actions, the healing to get you with your person. This is what you need to understand if you've, you've been with me and I'm repeating myself now because you're just going around the fool's journey. If you're new, please check out my playlist. The playlist won't get you with your person. The playlist will show you that I know what to do to get you with your person. Then you can book me and I can help you get with your person. I state that that's sex because look, <laughs> this represents him and his penis. And it's this the emperor is controlling. But this is someone in the third dimension world with this is his world. Very stubborn in this corporate book study. That's the third dimension. But here's the thing. You're the leader. What did I say? You're trying to control it. You're trying to control your ex. So what is he doing? You two are aligned as one. So you can't have a go at him saying you're just coming around to me for sex and that's out of order. It doesn't work like this. This is someone who has not got a clue about the dynamics of how you live on planet Earth. I'll tell you a little bit how it works. They don't see colour, they don't see age, they don't see distance, they don't see tradition, they don't see religion. This is energy, right? It doesn't see any of this. This planet is of energy. If you are controlling something, that vibration of control, and you're energetically aligned to your person who is one with you, then he will control it. Energy doesn't see that, well, you're only controlling the person indoors, but he's controlling sex, but, so he's far worse than you. No, it doesn't work like that. Control is control. That frequency of control aligns with your person, then he controls you. He's your teacher. When you stop this stupid control over here, then he will lessen up and then move towards you more. That's the journey. That's the fool's journey. So this is someone who doesn't know that. So like I said, there may be some kind of breakup here because this is the six of cups. But this person is holding the cup looking for you. In five of cups, in kind of that regret mode of what have I done, what have I done, but still third dimensional with the blue, which is third dimension to me. Nevertheless, just looking for you to come back, because this is the early stage. This is what they do really, pretty much, waiting for you. Because <laughs> they know you're the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is the twin flame. Without the terminology of knowing it, of course, they won't say that, especially if this is an early journey. Some do, don't get me wrong, but 90% probably don't. I won't say probably, they're like mostly don't. So this is what you have to understand. Just because he's not coming to you and saying you're the one, they don't do that. And even if they do, they still go back to where they are and you get confused because you're listening to the words. You're not supposed to listen. You're supposed to fill them. 
So your person's waiting for you to step up and come back. And like I said, he's got his one cup. The five of cups is in regret. But so are you. Because this is your five of cups once again. So both of you are in regret. One's waiting for the other one to take the move. This is what's going on in this dynamic here. This means heartbreak, shadow work. For sure. You're not focusing on your one ace of cups is behind you you're just focusing on shadow but this is passion as well with that you're passionately third dimensional of this is how it should be this is what this is saying to me the control of both of you this is what you need to do i said you these readings of you lot you lot are the ones that need to take the action steps this way how i do the readings two of swords i split the cards when relevant this is you and your person as one but you lead so you need to get into the four of swords four of swords is healing meditation understanding the hermit card hence why i said a tower reading alone won't get you with your person i that's why i give you the additional stuff the inner child work, the adult child work, all the stuff that you need to do this healing. Once you do that, this is the energetic form, 4D, 5D upwards. This is the energy that connects to your person which heals him or her. You heal, they heal. That's how it works. You don't need to know how. Why don't you need to know why and how? Because... You're the full card. You jump into the unknown. You're not supposed to know. Anyway, I tell you anyway. Check out my playlist. Anyway, the two swords. So I split this because it's two of you, yeah? So the first two swords. Two of swords is indecisive behaviour. So you're in and out, in and out, in and out. And you can see the reflection. Your person in and out, in and out, in and out. In this reading. This is the mirror effect with a twin flame not the soulmate commercialize oh well he has uh, green eyes and so have i and you know we like chinese you know and we both like films and we both go play tennis that's third dimensional soulmate this is a mirror of a twin flame deeper hardcore shit which you need to understand two of swords is indecisive behavior but two of swords are down meaning that your thoughts are incorrect you don't know why you're in and out because you don't know the fool's journey correctly and you don't know what's going on with your person which you're not supposed to know please check out my moon card in my playlist which is reflecting on your person in and out in and out in and out not knowing what to do that's what that means you need to heal that this is healing you need to heal that pattern this in and out in and out in and out and what did i just say temperance balance out your hot and cold in and out behavior which will transform with these rainbow colors this union into union because this is rainbow colors of the twin flame with the feathers that's what you need to do <clears throat> this is what your person is doing this is the uh, seven of rods seven of rods is the seven of pentacles which means he's working hard and he gets stuck this is a classic twin flame they work at the thing and they get stuck the stuckness is down to you not progressing and understanding the deepness of this connection that's when they stop that's when they run that's when they get stuck it's not really them getting stuck it's you getting stopping and running and then they run or you it's all that it's all alignment it's all pushing it forward all at the same time but let me show you this your person no doubt wants to be with you look at that one wand here right he wants a new fresh beginning clean slate because it's naked right so you get naked to get clean so clean new slate this is the six of rods which he's trying to balance he's got shit over there which he's trying to balance look he's balancing on that one footings on each one so he's one rod for you one for um, you so he's thinking about what to do because one for you one for him he's passionate and wants this new passionate new beginning 
But as you can see, can you see the other hand? It's like he's still got baggage. He still gets pulled back to the baggage. This is what you need to understand. To you, oh, where is he? He's stuck. This is the bigger picture, which you don't know, the unknown. He's trying his hard. Look, one hand balancing that massive, long passion. That's you. But he's still getting pulled back with the baggage indoors. But the main thing is he's taking the step onto being victorious towards the six of rods. That's what you need to know. Victory card. He wants to be victorious with you. Underneath, look, on top of that, you boo-hooing. Oh, well, in regret. You're in regret because you don't know the bigger picture. Like I said, please check out my um, moon card. Now, um, once again, more healing with the four swords on you. Nightmare. This is nine of swords. It's a nightmare. You're worried. There's anxiety. The five swords here going across. The five of swords is, once again, look. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Defeat, Regret, uh, Deceit, Lies. You're worried all about that, but you need to get into your healing state. That's what this card is stating. It's all over the place. And the main thing I see that is that this is tradition, tradition, release, religion, belief systems loads of crosses in that card that's why there's a nightmare that means that i need to do it this way because you don't say that because i was brought up to do it that way but it's more to do with <sighs> did it have it in here no it was the other one family belief systems now your person's your twin flame he should come round and have a cup of tea meet all the family say he loves you put a bling on it then you buy a dog and a house and all that that's what you're worried about why is he is nothing like that but he's my twin flame i don't understand i'm so anxious what's going on what's going on because you're in traditions and belief systems which a twin flame is not about that that's stripping back and becoming your free self like a child that's why the six of cups is twin flame with the children because you've got to be your childlike self when you're a child you don't give a shit about tradition religion or anything you just give a shit you see the children just playing in the dirt in the card that's what you're supposed to do with your person just be like this when you see them he is look at him he is doesn't matter if he's saying it or not look they're feeling each other fill them so hopefully this has been good for someone <coughs> check out the other elements if they're for you and speak to you later